All right, I created a file in Excel that you can use to do the math for your time as well as to determine whether you have any errors in your calculation. So here's how it works. In Titanium, in the Internship Daily Work Log, go to the View List and make sure that your entries are at 1,000. That way you can get maximum selections here. So I just did a drag and a shift will make a selection. So that's the technique that I use to make the selection. Or depending on how many entries you have, if you don't have that many, it might be just as easy to click and drag down to the bottom. Once you have that, you're going to do a command C for copy and we're going to go back to Excel. And in this column in here, you need to make sure that you have this little white line between the gray box and the green selection. If you double click on the box, you're actually modifying the inside of the cell. We don't want that. We want to paste our content over this cell so that it distributes the information into other cells. So now that this is selected correctly with one click, I'll paste in here. And so that drops the information in here. So here is a recalculation of your input, output, and break time. And it's doing the math to make sure that this is correct. And then there's a comparison made between this number and your work time. Uh, I know I'm supposed to have close to 120, if not more. And for some reason, it's not showing up. And the reason is because there's an error in here. And if I scroll down here on the bottom, and here's my error, and it reveals itself. It's got the calculated time based on the input, output, and break time. But because this match and this match, rather, these two don't match each other, uh, I get this error information. And it also tells me the date where the problem is. If you happen to catch the mistake and you can see right away what the problem is, you can just go ahead and fix it. And in here, I'm looking at a 9 o'clock start time to 5.30, and I'm working eight hours. So either this is 5 and 8, or this is uh, uh, 8.30 and 5.30. And if you're not sure of the calculation, you can go to the time calculator over here and redo the math in here. So if I think that it was an 8.30 time, and I'm going to a 5.30 time, then I just need to double check over here and make sure that it goes to 8. So I'll come back over here and uh, come back to my mistake over here so I'm double checking the date over here and so now I can come over here and find my March 7th here it is and I'm going to click on the little gear and do an edit now for some reason it doesn't always show up on the right date so make sure that you set that to the right date that you're working on and then over here I'm going to set this to 830 and I'm going to save the change and I can confirm in here everything looks correct and now I'll go back to the View tab list, and I'll make another selection over here. And I'll copy that. And now I'll go back to my Excel file. And while this is selected, I can either delete or I can do a right click and clear content. And now I'll click back on the top box. Now you have to be careful now because the gray box went away when I pasted it. So I'm just clicking in here one time and paste dropping it in. And now you can see that I'm at 125 hours. And as I scroll down here, there aren't any errors. So that's the total time worked. And I don't have any errors. Then I would come back over here. And then I would print this out to take to my uh, supervisor for them to sign. Uh, these numbers in here have to be updated because I'm going to be checking your time based on what your input hours. And I have another Excel file that I'll be using to see if there are any errors. So uh, part of your responsibility, this is kind of a job related thing, you need to make sure that your input time is correctly uh, set up. So uh, hopefully this will make your life a little bit easier.